what is undenatured type of collagen. It's the next generation of uh, solution for uh, joint health and mobility. It works with the immune system via the unique mechanism of oral tolerance. And what is required is only one small 40 milligram per day dose. The UC2 has science backed uh, by 11 clinical study publication done in osteoarthritic subjects and also in healthy subject who experience pain upon physical activity. So what is your experience with uh, uh, UC2 in OA and how have your patients responded to these UC2 treatment uh, uh, in, in your practice? We have used UC2 um, for last almost five years, little more than that. And I have realized that the value of UC2 in osteoarthritis, particularly in, if you call grades of osteoarthritis, one, two, three, four, uh, in two and three grades. So what has been your patient feedbacks in terms of this therapy? We noted the gait becomes better. The walking capacity increases. So they always come back and they say, now I can walk half kilometer, then it becomes one kilometer. So there's a gradual increase in the walking capacity as well. And it, frankly, I will not say uh, how much, but it definitely delays the surgery, which I was always trying to do. That's very hurting for all of us that we will use this collagen with a lot more confidence. But definitely subjective uh, improvement is 100% there. What is the kind of patient counseling and education that you would uh, suggest uh, to uh, all our audience? So I tell the patient to avoid the, any GI side effect. I tell the patient to take this with the food. GI side effects are significant. I have not come across many patients like that. You can count them on the hands that they have some GI side effects. And I would say that uh, in stage 2, it really works very well. Stage 3, I would say 70-80% has a good response. And they can delay their surgery. Definitely no doubt about it. No doubt about that. What has been your, uh, uh, what to say, uh, experience in terms of UC2 with your patients and how exactly do you really see the whole uh, effectiveness of this product? But one thing is significant that once UC2 came in, the results have been better. Now, we don't have facilities to measure the ultrasound thickness or others, but we do find the only thing that works with us is the indexes. My recommendations would be for the UC2 to be given in almost all cases which are not going to be operated. We do not qualify for an operation and we do not need an operation. But a three-month cooling off period with these medicines helps. And it helps in early stage one, stage two uh, with great effect. Your experience with the effectiveness and the safety of UC2 in terms of its onset of action, the duration and the concomitant drugs that you have been giving and uh, how exactly uh, you would like to, uh, what to say, place your experience with this product in your patients. Uh, regarding the use of uh, and, uh, UC2 in case of osteoarthritis and tendinopathies, the effect has been very, very good. Minimum is about, I, I always tell them you have to take it for a month minimum. And then if they take, uh, and up to six months, you need to continue with. And by two to three weeks is what we see some amount of effect for the patient. So what are your views on terms of the dosage uh, and maybe any drug food interactions and uh, duration of UC2 treatments uh, in uh, OA uh, and uh, at this point of time? So when it comes to dosage, I would say uh, stick to the dosage of 40 milligrams per day. Uh, this was based on the studies that were done at Harvard. And when we compare the efficacy of WOMAC and, uh, uh, and, and VAS pain score, the efficacy was same, same, which means whether you take it with food or without food, it is going to be efficacious. But it is advisable to take UC2 on a long duration. The effect may last for some time, but then they may have to restart UC2. What uh, what to say uh, dictates uh, your choice of a formulation of a UC2? I would prefer to use this as the purest form if possible. A tablet of the capsule form, most of the capsule form was really well for me. Does any grade of osteoarthritis that is there that dictates your choice in terms of the formulation or in terms of uh, the kind of combinations that you want to use? Point is that you use it in stages one and two, but also in severe cases, because there are many severe cases who do not want an operation or who may not qualify for it. What do you think would be the other uh, cases that you would have probably used or would like to use UC2 uh, in your orthopedic practice? The first thing that comes in mind is the frozen shoulder. Periarthritis shoulder, whether that use, that is one of the, uh, not insoluble, but one of the difficult problems to uh, really go about it. 
that is one case where I would love to. And the other cases would be whether uh, the osteoarthritis in the other joints, especially the hips. Any what to say feedback on this in terms of uh, what to say uh, the patients uh, uh, in terms of their age uh, or in terms of related to their uh, 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 what to say uh, the gender things which are there? We have data from as, as young as 20 years old to 75 years old. So the female subject tended to have a higher improvement in knee flexion uh, compared to the male subject. But when we looked at the mobility, daily number of step count and physical activity, males were significantly higher than female. 